Welcome to the Open Elip 2 course on entrepreneurship in plant based drug. In this video, let us learn about Ayush. Ministry of Ayush was formed in November 2014 with a vision of reviving the profound knowledge of our ancient system of medicine and ensuring the optimal development and propagation of the Ayush systems of healthcare. Ayush is an acronym for Ayurveda, Yoga, Naturopathy, Yunani, Siddha and Homeopathy. One of the main branches of Ayush is Ayurveda. It's an alternative medicine system with historical roots in India. It is heavily practiced in this region. About 80% of the people use Ayurveda in the Indian subcontinent. Dhanavantri, the avatar of Lord Vishnu, is considered to be the main guru or main deity or god of Ayurveda. He is an incarnation of Lord Vishnu. He incarnated as King Divodasa of Varanasi to a group of physicians including the famous physician of India, Sushruta, who wrote Sushruta Samhita. Dhanavantri is known as Divine Doctor and the father of Ayurveda, which is a traditional medicine system that has been practiced in India for thousands of years. The word Ayurveda means knowledge of life in Sanskrit. The Sushruta Samhita is an ancient Sanskrit text on medicine and one of the most important such treatises on this subject to survive from the ancient world. Ayurveda therapies have varied and evolved over more than two millennia. Therapies include herbal medicines, special diets, meditation, yoga, massages, laxatives, animas and medical oils. Ayurvedic preparations are typically based on complex herbal compounds uh, prepared from different types of plants, minerals, metal substances and ancient Ayurvedic texts also taught surgical techniques including rhinoplasty, lithotomy, sutures, cataract surgery and also extraction of foreign objects. Ayurveda is more than 5,000 year old but yet has the potential to cure many diseases in an efficient manner. Ayurveda is made from two words Ayu means life, Ved meaning knowledge. Thus Ayurveda means science of life. Ayurveda is considered to be the part of Atharva Veda. Ancient mythology contains that concept and essence of Ayurveda was revealed by the creators of the world himself, that is Lord Brahma. Veda Vyasa, the famous sage, put into writing the complete knowledge of Ayurveda into a body of scriptural literature called the Vedas, also called Atharva Veda. Typically, Ayurveda is described as Ashtanga Ayurveda. It is a subject that is there in Ayurveda which includes eight different methods of treatment, different branches of medicine that we have today. Similar to that we have in Ayurveda also eight different branches that is Kaya Chikitsa that is medicine, Salya Chikitsa that is surgery, Salakya Chikitsa that is ENT, Bala Chikitsa that is pediatric treatment, Jara Chikitsa that is treatment related to genetics, Rasayana Chikitsa that is treatment using chemicals, Vijakarma Chikitsa that is treatment using rejuvenation and Visha Chikitsa that is using toxics that is called toxicology. Based on the principles of Ayurveda there are basically five basic elements called Panchabhutas and uh, these are responsible for all diseases in man and all treatments also involve these Panchabhutas. They are Prudvi related to earth, Jala that is water, Agni that is fire, Vayu that is air, Akasha that is vacuum or void. In Ayurveda there is something called Tridosha theory. 
there are five elements combined to form three doshas five basic elements which i just now told you combined with three doshas water pitta and kapha so these together will cause imbalance in the body and cause lot of diseases both in physical and mental terms so both the physical and mental disorders in the body are caused because of the interaction between five basic elements and three uh, doshas that is water pitta and kapha the diagnosis of uh, disease in ayurveda is described in charakasthana of charaka samhita the details about etiology pathology signs and symptoms of disease are described in charaka samhita recording of the pulse is very important and ayurvedic practitioners look for the dominance of dosha on the basis of pulse characters for diagnosis of the disease The Ayurvedic treatment is made up of two methods one is called shodhana karma also called pancha karma elimination of the morbid factors the other one is shamana karma that is palliative treatment so basically two main types of treatment that we have in Ayurveda you can see here the different types of uh, treatments that are available in uh, Ayurveda the basic two types are divided further and described and you can see that in the chart here on the screen panchakarma is an ayurvedic method of purification and detoxification treatment this is a process used to clean the toxic materials in the body ayurveda says that imbalance doshas create waste matter in the body and that causes a number of diseases in the body this waste matter is called ama in ayurveda there is something called drug formulation theory the formulation and assessment of action of the drugs the theory of rasa guna virya vipaka a prabhava is established in the drug formulation theory and this is used for the development and making of the drug required to treat a particular disease rasa means therapeutically active agent guna means quality virya means the active principle vipaka means the end product of digestion and prabhava means the actual therapeutic activity of the drug Uh, in the particular individual ayurveda doesn't only use the plants but uh, most of the drugs and uh, the main components of drug up to 90% of the ayurvedic drug are made up of plants they are plant based plant based treatment in ayurveda may be derived from roots leaves fruits bark seeds and different types of plants are used uh, as i told you already in the previous uh, talks there are more than 8000 uh, plants that are available in india which are used in ayurveda and uh, in this course we will learn about some of the important uh, uh, plants that are used in ayurveda and also used in the treatment of various diseases and the commonly used uh, uh, ayurvedic plants or we have vaithanya somnifera called uh, ashwagandha osimum tenifolium that is uh, tulsi these are the two important plants apart from these there are many other plants that are used in ayurveda different types of uh, ayurvedic formulations are prepared and you can see them on screen asava arka avaleha kwacha uh, gugulu charita churna taila vati gutika those these are all the different types of uh, ayurvedic formulations that are produced by using different types of plants so that is about uh, a brief account about ayurveda and uh, thank you very much for watching my videos please like share and subscribe we will learn about the other branches of ayush in the next video thank you very much